it's been such a long time since I've sat down to film a video, so this feels kind of weird, but yeah, let's go. So, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Tori and this is my channel. So, hopefully uh, everyone is doing well. I finally uh, got time to film a video uh, and yeah, for this uh, video I decided to just try something different and hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. So a few days ago I was just going through some of the photos that I took in Turkey uh, on our summer vacation, which hopefully you saw, you watched the video and also uh, saw the photos that I uploaded on my Instagram account. So I decided to do something fun and something that I kind of always wanted to try and see if I can maybe work it out. So uh, I decided to pick some photos and edit them in a way that is like old vintage grainy photos and yeah uh, also black and white which I think it's such a good idea but yeah uh, I decided to pick some photos and somehow I th thought it was a good idea to just pick up photos of boats so I think that would be fun I already did uh, some like demo versions and to see if I like it or not so here is one that you can hopefully see and I also uh, tried one uh, just a few hours ago and this is the second one so uh, I also uh, managed to get some like overlays or some grainy photos on Google well, which I downloaded them as like a texture that I'm gonna uh, put over the photos and I put them in a folder so it's kind of easier for me to do them. I also downloaded some uh, like overlays in color so maybe after this I can also do something like that but uh, in color not just black and white but yeah for this video I just uh, decided to, I don't know, maybe just pick one of them. Maybe this one is gonna be a good one for this video. So let's see if it works or not. I actually really like this uh, composition and this photo. It's such a nice one, like it's sunset time. So let's just choose uh, one of them. Uh, some of them are not great quality because i don't know why but i really couldn't find some which which are like high quality so hopefully you are gonna find one that is i guess not bad uh, so let's see oh this is not like a tutorial or something i just wanted to try something and also like film myself doing it so yeah if you guys really enjoy this video and maybe want like a tutorial on this and like the full version of on how to actually do this like the uh, process maybe just let me know and yeah i would be so glad to do that like in a tutorial video but yeah i haven't done anything like a tutorial on anything i've done before so hopefully that would be fun in the future to do but yeah let's just try and work uh, on this photo that we have first we just need to make this uh, photo just black and white with the camera camera raw filter in in photoshop so let's just do that really quick and we can go back to like editing it uh, with um, textures and overlays and stuff so let's see if this works uh, we just need to change like the opacity of it so like the layer mask it depends on the darkness or just how the photo looks like and sometimes it works and sometimes it really doesn't so you have to just try and try all over again so i guess for this one 
um, the linear dot at works, I think. So let's see. Also the screen, uh, yeah. Screen works. Maybe we just um, some like lower the opacity on it, so it's not like fully. No, okay. So now maybe we can just lock so it doesn't move that much and we can search for a different uh, texture I guess maybe just a plain like grain and let's see let's see just make it uh, to fit the, the photo and then we can just change and again we can change it we don't want it to be like that much green just something so it shows like it's taken like in another uh, time or like years ago or something like that and let's see if we lower the opacity on this not like fully I think something like this would work and I think it's it looks pretty nice for now. So maybe we can just work on uh, yeah, I guess another texture. And let's see what we can find in the folder that I have. So let's see here we have some scratches and like grains and also I have the light leaks for the color I don't think we need something like this it's too much so let's go for I guess maybe this one yeah, let's try it I think it's okay and also if you want to you can just rotate the photo or just I don't know do anything you want I guess because uh, at the end of the day just what you want it to look like and on Photoshop I think you really can't do anything you want and like it's so limitless and yeah you can do magic I guess okay let's try it this one is a bit tricky because it doesn't really work on the photo we have I guess this one but we can add a layer mask so we can some like erase some of some of the texture so it doesn't uh, fill up the, f for the whole frame so let's try and do that I guess like this and it's just like a salt brush we can just uh, go all over it or just, just the parts that we don't like I don't want it to go over the top of the, the image like this part maybe I want it to go here like uh, in the corners I don't think it's that bad I mean it's a bit like blown out but still I think it looks cool and yeah uh, what else can we do maybe just this uh, like scratches or something we can try let's try this one see like this one it's a bit tricky as well yeah something like this maybe but uh, maybe we can change the opacity or just delete some uh, part so it doesn't uh, go all over the image and we can just make it uh, focus on something I actually like this but let me just delete some parts like here I don't want it to go so I'm gonna just go over that with the soft brush and I think that's okay it it looks cool in my opinion I don't know about uh, everyone else but I just I just wanted to try something a different um, editing style I guess uh, and I always wanted to just try and edit black and white photos and give them like the the vintage or 
yeah, that kind of look like they are taken in another time, like old photos and everything. Uh, give it a shot, I guess. Also, I'm gonna try and edit more photos, which you're gonna see on the screen right now. So hopefully those ones look even better than this one. I just uh, decided to focus on one in the video so it doesn't last too long. So if you want to see this video, you can go to my Instagram account and maybe you can give it a comment or a like if you like it. So I think that would be it for this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this and enjoyed watching me edit on Photoshop which is something that I really like and enjoy and hopefully I can make more videos like this and try more editing styles and if you have any ideas for me to do and try next uh, make sure to uh, comment down below and yeah let me know maybe there or on my instagram account you can follow me at tori story one and thank you so much for watching hopefully i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye